Sasso and I'm going to grant this West Ham. Today, I've gone for a decaf Americano with oat milk. I, uh, I, I'm a tea guy, unfortunately, so it's just like plain black tea. You didn't need Not to really apologize much. for that. Sexy. It is. It's a, bit, it's a sexy show. It's a scary show. Uh, and it is a thrilling show. We're going with raunchy Tudor intrigue. Oh, yeah, you tied them together. Yeah, that's okay. nice. Oh, easy. Uh, Ginger and honey. Amazing. Is that the, I feel like that's the most popular one here as well. It feels like it's not doing your voice. You know, you've got that ginger hit. People are having a lot of ice cream backstage. Yeah. Throughout the show. You will often see the Duke of Norfolk walking around halfway through a chocolate ice cream. With, yeah. Before going on for the Pavan. Some people might have been late on with some mint chopped chip, and that is my favorite flavor. You can always tell in the dancers who's been having one from the Sticky Fingers. Yeah, correct. We'll always do our scene, the lines, once. Yeah. I think uh, what's nice about before the show, because we've got so many songs, we've got so many dances, we run all of fights and stuff, we run all of those before. So as a company, yeah. we get to really bond for like an hour and a half before the show doing all that. And then myself and the two yeah. girls who play Mary and Anne Boleyn at the five minute call, we meet in the corridor in our pajamas. That is our costume at the beginning. And um, we should sort of have a moment just to sort of um, get a connect before going on, uh, before going on that journey together. A lot. They spin a lot. Um, I found, um, so on press night, pretty high stakes moment, pretty vulnerable. <laughs> the, the adrenaline's going, we all wear, well the men all wear cod pieces in the show. Oh yeah. And mine just flung off in the first scene. What well, was hanging on by uh, the thread, just flapping about. And I, there's nothing I could do. And then in the big <laughs> opening dance, it just fell on the floor. And what's great is we all really cover the stage by weaving in a sort of Tudor dance. And you can just see people clocking it every now and again, going, is that a cod piece? Is that a cod piece? There's a lot of real beautiful poetic lines in the show, but the best is probably um, Jane Parker, shut your nasty mouth. Yeah. So I'm gonna talk about, uh, I'm gonna say my, just a very impactful uh, theater experience I had when I was about 16, I went to the Lyric Hammersmith and saw uh, Blasted, Sarah Kane's Blasted, and it rocked my world. Um, I just love Death of a Salesman. It's absolutely extraordinary. And I actually bought it this morning. I always, get, whenever I, I go to like a charity shop or something, I look for it and I've got lots of different copies of it. Easy. Today, um, again, I went to the um, Palace Gardens. They're just, they're just, and on a day like today, it's just mm. like really sunny. So any time uh, a friend comes down or whatever and stays, you know, we, we go there for a walk. Uh, I rode the, I think it's called the Sultan, Sultan's Way, along the canal, through Delkey and down to the beach on my bike. I had a swim, I'd be back. That's really lovely. Five pounds! Five, if you're under 30, become a Prologue member and come watch the theatre in Chichester. Five pounds! Every show, it's amazing! What do you guys get up to in the interval? Because I always think it's really fun that the audiences can't quite see that it, there's a sort of like little garden attached to the green room and we're all out there in all our Tudor garb just like playing games with Nerf guns or like, you know, drinking, or vending machines. It looks kind of incongruous. But it's really yeah. fun.